What's up guys? This is our tutorial video on the circumference measurements. So we are going to be using a smart sheet and every person is going to input their numbers in their own personal smart sheet and it's going to make total calculations a lot easier and if you want to use the PDF that I provided and fill out those numbers and keep them for your personal records, go ahead. But once you have completed the waiver and sent it back to me, I will have sent you an email that has a link to your personal smart spreadsheet for you to fill out your measurement numbers. And so just make sure that your name correlates with the spreadsheet link that I send you. It should be A-OK. -okay. And then there will be a link to this video that will give you all the instructions you need for your circumference measurements. And if you have any questions about the smart sheet, just check out the tutorial video that Alan posted in the Facebook group. And of course, if you have any questions, post them. <laughs> Hey everybody, Kemp Fitness Professional and I am here to show you a quick video on how to record your circumference measurements for your progress updates and body composition. So all you need for this is a measuring tape of some kind. Let's see, I've got mine right here. This is just a little standard one. It's got the inches on it and centimeters. We're going to use inches. and. The ideal way to do this is with a partner that will take your measurements for you. So that way, A, you can make sure they're more accurate because you don't have to worry about your hands on. They've got a good eye on it. It's harder to see some of the numbers. And when you're doing it by yourself, it's, it's tough to do the arms and the thighs. And so it just works a lot easier and faster if you have someone to do it with you. So I'm just gonna show you the measurements that uh, we'll record and we'll go over each one, how to record it, where to take the measurement and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna use my beautiful demonstration here, Alex, and he's going to help me on uh, all the measurements. So the first one we're gonna go over is the neck. Very simple, very easy. All we're gonna do is just take a measurement right around the Adam's apple. Bring the tape right across, no flexing, nice and relaxed. And we take our measurement. So that's for the neck. And then for the arm, I can turn around. What we're going to do is to measure from the AC joint, which is this bump, this protrusion on the top of the shoulder here. That's our landmark. That's starting position of the tape. Ending position is the elbow joint. Okay, so we're just going to take that measurement to find out the halfway point, which with a 16 inch upper arm, that puts our halfway point at 8 inches. So you can make, make a little mark on the arm so that way you know where it is when you go to take your measurement. And then we just go right around the arm. He's nice and relaxed, the arm just stays at his side, and I take the measurement. This might not be the exact biggest point of your arm, that's okay, we just want to make sure the measurement is standard, and so that way everybody's doing the same thing. So AC joint to the elbow, halfway point, mark it and measure it, okay? That's unflexed. Now we're also going to do a flexed one for the arms, who doesn't want to do an arm flex? So I'm going to have him come up into a 90 degree bicep curl, and then I'm going to measure the peak of the arm. Right at the top of the bicep, I take my measurement. Okay, so we've got our unflexed mark halfway from the AC to the elbow, and then we've got our flex mark at 90 degrees, your typical bicep curl kind of pose. Okay, so that's the arms. I'll turn you back around. Then we're going to do the forearm next. This one is an optional measurement. This isn't going to be in the challenge, but you can use it for your own personal records. See if you're making any gains in your grip strength and your forearm size. So we're going to go from crease of the elbow to crease of the wrist, and then take that halfway point, which puts us right in the middle of the forearm. And again, this might not be the biggest point of your forearm. That's okay. We just want a place of standard measurement. So when we go to do it again, we measure in the same exact place. Okay, so once we've got the mark, we go around and measure the forearm. 
if you want to use a different spot, say a little higher up where the meat of the forearm is located, then just make sure that you use that same exact spot every single time. So measure it out, make the mark, and then take your measurement. So that's the forearms. Next we're gonna go to the chest. So I'll have you go arms up. For the chest, we're just looking at nipple line straight across, nice and relaxed with the arms at the sides. Bring the tape over, arms down. Once the arms are at the sides, find the nipple line, right above the nipple line or so. No flexing, nice and relaxed, regular breath, and there's our measurement, okay? Then when we work down the torso, we're gonna go to the belly button next. So point to your belly button. Okay, and we take the measurement right at the belly button line. No sucking in, just nice and relaxed, find a good normal position there, okay? That's our belly button. For the hips, we work down even farther. I'm gonna have you turn just a little bit. We're gonna go right at the biggest point of the glutes, right around the hips, biggest point of the glutes. We come across and find our measurement. Okay, so that's the thighs, or excuse me, the hips. I'm going to be standing right there facing me. For the thighs, let's turn them just a little bit. We are going to do the same strategies we did with the arm. We're going to find the halfway point. So for this one, we find the ASIS, which is the crest of the pelvis, that little bump right there in the front. So that's the starting point. Ending point is the kneecap. So there's our kneecap, and then 21 and a half. The halfway point would be ten and a half ish. So there's my mark, right in the middle of the thigh. Bring it around and take your measurement. Make sure that it's the same for the legs and the arms in both spots. You can just check that out in the mirror. Make sure that your line is even with your X's. And then for the calves, just find the biggest point of the calf. Come around and take a measurement. Again, we're not going to use calves or forearms. But I just want to include that measurement if you'd like to keep track of that progress on your own. So that's all of our circumference measurements. We've got the neck, the arms, the chest, the belly button, the hips or the glutes, and then the thighs. Optional, we've got the calves and the forearms. So you need measuring tape and then ideally someone to take accurate measurements for you and then record all your progress on the body comp sheet that is included in the program and it's pasted to the Facebook group page and post your results. All right, thanks for checking it out.